Now, Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat have been doing so much this offseason. Ain't no way you could tell me that Jimmy hasn't been working on his game. And that's something that's rightfully so. Even Bam Adebayo, I can almost guarantee you he will have a great jump shot or at least a decent one whenever the season starts. And even Tyler Hero, we know that he's been in the gym. We saw those boxing videos. Now, whenever it comes to a fight, hand-to-hand -hand combat, 1v1, I can almost guarantee you I can take him down. But at the end of the day, that's not what matters. The Miami Heat need to get better. They have cap space. They have the option to get rid of Andre Iguodala and even Garan Dragic. But we never know what the case will be. Now, Bam Adebayo, he's causing a few problems because he's a 6'9 center. Or you can say a power forward. It really doesn't matter. At the end of the day, he needs to develop a jump shot. You have to find a center right now that can actually help you on the perimeter. That's why Kelly Olynyk was so important to this roster. During the season, they got Dwayne Detman, and I'm pretty sure he'll be back next year. But they still need that extra push. A lot of guys want Miles Turner, but do they have the trade assets to actually get him? I mean, Chris Nunn, he is a good player, but they already have a crowded backcourt in the Indiana Pacers organization. But there are other options. Now, I like Marcus Saul in a trade because even though he's older, and I'm pretty sure the Los Angeles Lakers would be skeptical about trading him, but he's a seven foot big that can also shoot the rock. Play a few minutes here, play a few minutes there, and grab some boards. Also, they have players like Al Harford. Of course, everyone knows he can ball, but his price tag might be a little bit too much for the Miami Heat. But last year, he averaged 14.2 points, 6.7 rebounds, and 3.4 assists per game while shooting 45% from the field and 36.8% from downtown. Now, he's a guy that can play alongside Bam Adebayo, give you that veteran leadership and a lot of different things on the court. There's also players like Serge Ibaka that can be signed in free agency, but it's more likely that he stays with the Los Angeles Clippers if Kawhi stays in town. Now, moving on to Tyler Hero, there's a big problem with him and actually Duncan Robinson because at the end of the day, they can only keep one. But Duncan Robinson's value will be determined by other players who are three-point specialists in the league. I mean, look at Luke Kennard. Look at Joe Harris. They have $16 million deals. With the Miami Heat wanting to get another superstar or even an all-star, will Duncan Robinson's price tag be too high? And whenever you look at Tyler Hero, it's almost impossible to move him without giving away Andre Godala or Garan Dragic. Of course, they have expiring contracts. And with the way that they played in the postseason, Tyler Hero's stock isn't as high as it was a year ago. I mean, they almost got James Harden if they traded away Hero, Duncan Robinson, and maybe two first round picks. And with the way that this season went, I really feel like Tyler Hero will stay with the Miami Heat. I know that there's rumors about Bradley Bill, but what can you really give up for him? In a trade, you would have to give away at least Duncan Robinson and Tyler Hero with no draft picks. I really believe that the best you can do is like Tyler Hero for Michael Bridges and maybe even Jay Crowder. But the Phoenix Suns will most likely not give away any of those players just because they just made it to the NBA Finals with them. But I really want to know what you guys think because I think that's something that we really need to address. Who can the Miami Heat go after in this offseason? What is the Miami Heat's game plan? Now before I head out you guys, I have two things to say. And I also have two questions. But first, make sure you follow me on both of my Instagram pages. I'll be giving away an NBA jersey to one of my followers on every platform that I have. So make sure you comment jersey in my DMs. Now the question for the day is... Who do you think will be the most likely player to leave the Miami Heat Nation? And two, do you think that they still have a chance at getting Kawhi Leonard? Or should they wait till next season for that big free agency market? I appreciate all you guys loving your support and thank you for sticking with me. This your boy Scotty Ice, aka Baby Brian, and you already know, I'm out.